Man, this is one of these things where I just face palm myself and think, oh my God. So The Rock knows Dwayne Johnson in a recent Instagram post said he drinks around four gallons of water, which is absolutely insane amounts of water. And he's a highly influential person that's very dangerous that he's saying that. And this is my video kind of exposing him and showing the truth on why he's promoting a lot of water, which is more specifically Voss water. But first off, what I'm gonna do is show you an article that talks a little bit about this. In Men's Health it says, The Rock drinks a truly unfathomable amount of water every day. And then they talk about how much experts recommend you should be drinking a day. And it goes on to say, he's no mere mortal. And in a recent Instagram post, he revealed that he drinks an astonishing amount of water, four gallons to be exact. So a lot of people, are gonna take that for absolute truth. Overhydrating can be really dangerous. Most people just get concerned about dehydration, but it's like, come on people, too much of anything is not good for you. Wake up and don't follow this man's advice whatsoever. And then, if we go on to the next article, it says, The Rock buys shares in Voss Water, comments on why he bought them. So, hmm, he has a vested interest in promoting Voss Water, so by saying, he drinks around four gallons, it's gonna maximize the sales this company makes and maximize the increase in the shares rising. So it's all to do with money, money, money. So yeah, that's something to just be really, really aware of. And then if we go on to a couple of his Instagram posts, as it says here, Voss Water, Dwayne Johnson acquired stakes in Voss will serve as a strategic advisor. And as it says here, on his post, the description, the idea of owning water always intrigued me, partly because I drink four gallons a day and want to deliver to the world. But finding the right partner with shared values, ethics, and a corporate culture of my is what motivated me to make this deal. Excited to work with our new Voss World team to create new and improved products, sustainable and responsible for you and your families in the future, which I do agree with drinking some clean source of water, and it's good that most of their Voss water is sold in glass bowls, so it's better for the environment. It's a really clean type of water, but drinking four cans a day, one, it's gonna cost you a lot of money, and two, it's gonna have negative health consequences, and it's just completely unnecessary. And then he talked about, in a post prior to that one that was made, that he is now a strategic partner with Voss, and then is another post. This is the most recent post, following that one where he said he drinks around four gallons of the water and it's talking about his partnerships within China to do with Voss. And yeah, like I said, he has around 153 million followers. So that is a lot of people to advertise the Voss water to, which I have nothing wrong with someone making money whatsoever. That's absolutely fine. Be rich and abundant. We all deserve that. But when you're doing it where it could be dangerous, where someone could follow that advice and they could end up with something known as hypernutremia, which I'm gonna go into detail in at the end of this video. So then if you work out how much water that is, four gallons is around 18 liters of water or 18,000 milliliters. And then if you look into the biggest size of Voss, which is 28.74 fluid ounces of water, and you buy a 12 pack, the amount of money you would need to spend to get 21 litres of water, the exact amount you need to consume of this size Voss to get four gallons is 21 bottles, which that is a total of $60 a day, which is just a really, really high amount to be spending on water. And going through 21 bottles, like, that is just absolutely crazy making. How many people are actually gonna do that? And you're just gonna to get to a point where you're just completely over hydrating yourself and it's gonna have some very detrimental effects on you that could end up with you going into the hospital, which I don't want that for you. And a lot of other people don't, but he obviously doesn't care. I'm not hating on him whatsoever, but it's like, come on people, just think about it. Just drink when you feel a desire for water or you know that you've not been drinking enough water, you need to hydrate. You don't need to go completely over the board and go from one extreme to the other. It's just pff, not good at all. And then if you go onto Science Daily, it says this article, mechanisms of harmful overhydration and brain swelling. We're familiar with the drawbacks of dehydration, but we already hear about the harmful effects of overhydration. Scientists now uncovered a key piece to the puzzle of how our brains detect hyponatremia and regulate overhydration. The new study unearths the fundamental mechanism of how hyponatremia is detected in the brain. And I'm just gonna read out 
a short part of this story. For one, excess fluid accumulation can lead to dangerously low sodium levels in the blood or hyponatremia, a life-threatening condition that can result in brain swelling. Similarly, more is known about the mechanisms in the body that detect and drive thirst while little is known about how the brain detects a state of overhydration. So yeah, that's obviously not really good. You don't want that to be happening at all. It's a really, really bad thing. And it's not just having a negative effect on your sodium levels. When you're overhydrated, you're just gonna keep urinating and urinating. What that's doing is flushing out all different types of electrolytes. And that is not good at all. You wanna be having as much electrolytes as possible. So you just wanna stay moderately hydrated so you're just not urinating every 10 minutes or so. It's just absolutely excessive. And yes, Dwayne Johnson does train him really hard. So do I and so many other people as well. But I've never heard anyone stating that they drink this amount of water. It's just absolutely absurd and ridiculous. So like I said, do not follow this at all. And the last article that I'm gonna show you some of the signs of hyponatremia. So you can end up with nausea and vomiting headaches, confusion, loss of energy, drowsiness and fatigue, restlessness and irritability, muscle weakness, spasms or cramps, seizures, or even coma. So yeah, <sighs> oh, man. sometimes it just makes you wonder. And a lot of people, they don't think for themselves. A lot of people will just literally listen to that and be like, oh, he's doing it, so I must be doing it. And I completely believe him, but a lot of people won't do the research and put two to good. Maybe he has a vested interest in promoting drinking a lot of water. Which like I said, I'm not recommending that you don't drink any water whatsoever. It's definitely good to drink water, but come on, man. <sighs> Sometimes I do just wonder. But yeah, people wanna make money. That's it then, day. And there's quite a few people that don't care what they're doing. As long as they're making money from you, <laughs> that's all that matters to them. But for me, I only promote things on this channel that are actually good for people and I'm not doing it to just make money where it's something that I'm promoting that's detrimental to people at the same time. I care about giving people real results with things that actually work time and time again. And not just saying like, oh, you need to drink this amount of water or this or that, or that just so I can make way, way, way more money when it's actually not something that I'm actually truly doing. And man, if he's actually doing this, I'd actually like to see him document a video or someone follow him around with a camera and see him actually drink that much water because I can pretty much guarantee that it is absolute BS. So that's it from me in this video. Leave your questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.